This is Chinenye Igwetu. She says a Nigerian police officer shot her sister Linda to death in 2018. Toby said on their way from Sedi Plaza, they passed that there's a bridge after Sedi Plaza. Immediately, they had a loud sound. So he thought it was his tires. And then he looked at the rear, his mirrors and the tire was okay. So immediately, my sister was at the back and Arafat is in front. So he said my sister tapped him slowly and was making, like, doing like this, like she was gasping for air. So he was like, what's wrong with you, you know? And then she was like, she doesn't like... So he turned and then saw her holding, because she, she was shot under her breast. So he saw her, you know, holding her and then he saw, like, the car, so he had on the light in the car and then he saw blood all over her clothes. So that's how he knew that it was a gunshot. Today is the third time this panel of inquiries looking into the matter, but the Nigerian police have failed to produce the accused officer, Inspector Benjamin Peters. Labaran Mohammed is a former military officer. He's accusing the Nigerian police of unlawful detention, extortion, and falsely accusing him of murder. He wants the panel to ensure the return of his military combat uniforms and money stolen from him. As soon as I enter the cell, again, of beatings, scrapping up and down, I have to retaliate, we begin to fight. Meanwhile, they are, they are about 28 in number. They seem to overpower me. They, were, they deliberately brought me here for me to suffer. I should not fight this. This were condemned people already the same for. The next thing they brought me out and put in for my arms and guns for my presence. My own army uniform, my army team in my position, and two guns were put and began to snap me. A mother told the panel that a Nigerian police officer shot and killed her daughter, Anita Akapson, in 2018 when she was just in her 20s. Police lawyers say the officer involved, Godwin Ngo Chuku, Wagozie has been convicted and sentenced to 16 years in prison. She was a hard working girl who had goals, who had aspirations, she had dreams. She was an asset to the family. She has been convicted for double homicide and sentenced to 16 years in prison. All of these cases have been adjourned for now, but these victims and families will be back for another hearing, hoping they can get justice. Punarman Fentola, Arise News.